I've been asked more than once, how do I mount my GoPro to my bike helmet? Well, it's pretty straightforward, but there are a couple things you might want to know before you do it for the first time so you don't screw it up. I'm going to show you that now. So here I've got my bike helmet, and you can see it's pretty, pretty sleek the way I've got it on there. Um, it doesn't stick up too much. It's not, it's not, hey, look, I got a camera on my head type look and I'm using just the basic GoPro mounts that used to come with the GoPros before the GoPro 8. Now it doesn't, you've got to get those yourself. But it's the stick on right here and there's a way you want to do this when you mount it for the first time just to make sure you get it right. So I've got another mount around here. This is the curved base mount. So most of you know if you got an older GoPro, something like a 7 or earlier, it comes with two of these in the package and one is flat and one is curved. So use the one that's slightly curved and you're going to stick it on the front of your helmet just like this. But what you want to do before you stick it on there, you need to make sure you've got enough clearance so that when you put it on there it will, uh, you'll be able to get your fingers in there to release it. So let me show you real quick. So take your, your mount with your GoPro, slide it in, and then once you prep the surface with alcohol, make sure it's completely dry, you want to you want to press that down on here as far as you can go forward of the helmet. That's this way. But you can't go too far, otherwise when you click this into place, you won't be able to get it out. I'll show you that real quick. We've got the helmet. Put that in there. So you want these down as far towards the visor as possible so that you can still get your fingers in there and move that so you can pull it out. But what it does, instead of mounting it up here, if you like that, that hey I got a camera on my head look, go for it and put it up here, but if you want it um, as camouflage as possible or uh, as, as little obvious as it, it could possibly be, get it down there in that groove like this. I'm going to show you what it looks like with a full-size GoPro on it. And here's GoPro 8 in there. And once you get that base on there, obviously if you use the same GoPro mounts, it's the same everywhere, so it looks really good. So, get this in here all the way. There we go. That looks a little bit larger, doesn't it? Obviously, this is the full-size GoPro. And this is the Hero. No, I'm sorry. This is the Session 5 right here. This one's really good as a helmet cam. It doesn't have the image stabilization like a, like a full-size GoPro will have, but it still does well because your head is sort of... Uh, a little articulating turn anyway and already has its um, stabilization built into your neck right so that helps as opposed to being mounted on something rigid like a bike handlebar where that will that will constantly shake so that's it again it's pretty obvious uh, maybe not to everybody but just use the GoPro mounts these are really cheap get it on there make sure you use the alcohol let the alcohol dry and this thing is rock solid on there. I've had them come off before when I didn't use the alcohol and prep the surface properly, but this one is rock solid. And then, when you don't have your GoPro on there, you can't even tell anything's up there, pretty much. And that's it. Hope it helps. If you found this video interesting or informative, please do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.